Previously on Jonah, God told Jonah to go to Nineveh to preach to the people about their wickedness. He disobeyed and did the opposite. Jonah paid the fare and got on a ship going the opposite way to Tarshish. He wanted to run away from the Lord. So, Jonah was on a ship bound for Tarshish, and a great and violent storm began. It was terrifying. Now, boys and girls, have you ever been in a storm? Lightning, thunder, wind and rain. Storms can make you feel very small. And this storm, this was no ordinary storm. This was God showing his power that he is the one true God. Oh, I remember the day that Jonah got on my boat. Well, you see, we set sail for Tarshish and a mighty storm rose up like I'd never seen before. And I've been sailing this many a year. Oh, the wind were terrible, and the waves, they were crashing and the rain came down hard and the thunder was smashing. The boat was nearly broken up when we sailed We cried out to our God, but nothing. And in all of this, Jonah were asleep. And I went below deck and I said, How can you be sleeping in all of this? Call on your God and see if he will save us, or we'll die. And all us sailors, we cast lots, and it fell on Jonah. He was responsible. And I asked him, where do you come from and who are your people? I told the sailor, I am Jonah, son of Amittai, and I am a Hebrew. I worship the Lord of heaven and earth, who made the land and the sea. They were terrified when I said this. Now throw me overboard into the sea and it will become calm. I know that it is my fault that this storm has come upon us. Oh my, we did try and row back to land, but the storm got worse. I tried to call out to Jonah's God. I said, please don't let us die for taking this man's life. And we threw Jonah over the wish, and then the storm was calm. It was amazing. We knew for sure that this God was the one true God, and we believed and put our trust in him. What an amazing story. Even though Jonah ran away, he knew God made all things. He told the sailors so. God made the land and the sea, and he sent a mighty storm to show Jonah that he couldn't run away from him. Jonah knew he had done the wrong thing. The sailors were pagans. They didn't know about God like Jonah did. And God used the storm to show the sailors that he is the one true God who made everything. And they believed him. The sailors turned and trusted in God. Isn't our God amazing? He uses Jonah's disobedience for good. Next week, we'll see it's not quite the end for Jonah. Dear Father God, thank you that you are an all-powerful God who made all things and is in control. We are sorry for the times when we have disobeyed you. Please change the hearts of our friends so that they would know you are the one true God. Amen. The Bible tells us that Jesus made everything. The fishes, the trees, the birds, and he even made you and me. Well, that means that Jesus is the boss. Jesus is the boss of the fishes in the sea. Jesus is the boss of the birds in the trees. Jesus is the boss of the apes and chimpanzees And Jesus is the boss, Jesus is the boss of me He says stand, I'll stand He says walk, I'll walk He says 
Jesus is the boss. Jesus. 